So being, I have been watching you, and I wonder in your work at Silkham Farm, what are the gases to which you have access? Oh, uh, oxygen, uh, nitrogen, helium, <laughs> some stuff called sebo fluoride. For dentists mostly, we call it gingerbread smoke because that's what it smells like. It's an anesthetic. Yeah, you huff a little bit, kind of do what people tell you to do. <laughs> I have a feeling the bearded guy's in trouble. Nosferatu airs Sundays at 10 on AMC. Please welcome Zachary Quinto. <laughs> been here for a long time which shocked me today because I ten run into years. you every once in a while and 10 years That's is crazy. crazy. I'm it so is happy crazy. to be back. It's I'm glad you're back. So what's happened over the last 10 years? Oh, you know, a little of this, a little of that. <laughs> it's been a good decade. I can't complain. How I was reminded you? that the last time you were here, I had recommended that you steal the Spock ears off the set of Star Trek. Yeah. And then you did steal them, which right. is Right, I also did two movies since then, so my collection has grown exponentially. Do you take one pair from each movie, or yeah. you take more if you can? I take more. And then where... <laughs> and then where do the ears go? Well, at first they were just thrown in a box and kind of like in a bookshelf in my, my house, and I was like, that's not gonna last well. Right. It's not gonna do well over time. So then I have, uh, I've found some airtight containers and uh, placed each pair in its own little container and put them in a box, and sort of now they're... they're I'm not telling anybody where they are. This happened last time. You tried to goad me into telling you where they were, and you're never going to find them. Oh, do you have people I. coming into your home to try to people. get them? Yeah. <laughs> hey, first they stop at Jada's and then they come yeah, to my house right. and, uh, and root through my cupboards to find my ears. Do you ever give them away? Like, oh, I need a last-minute gift. Let me wrap one you of know, these I'm ears. I'm not really one for... I don't keep a lot of stuff. I'm, I'm very... Like, I get rid of stuff. I like to declutter all the time, but... I do feel like this is such an experience that I, you know, it's been such a formative part of my life and my career that I want something yes. that I can look back on. Uh, and I figured the ears were something I could look back on. And this is an interesting thing. Leonard Nimoy did this show. And I, 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 people my age know this show for sure, but I don't know if everyone does, called In Search Of. Right. Which you are doing on the History Channel, that's right? Correct, on yeah. history, as yeah, they history. call it. They call it history. Yes, uh, and yeah. that's kind of crazy that that you're doing that show too. I, I would yeah, imagine. Yeah, they that's... they reached out and asked if I would be interested in in, uh, in in revitalizing the franchise, you know, because of Leonard's connection to it. And I loved that guy so much. We were so close, and always, you know, talked about not just the role and the experience that we shared in Star Trek, but life and our curiosity. And he was endlessly curious to the end of his life. And so it was Very bright guy. Yes, yes. super intelligent yeah. and, um, and really engaged. And, you know, and so I felt like it was a way to honor him and stay connected to him. And uh, It's funny, though, because I never felt, watching that show, like he believed in any of the stuff <laughs> they were in search of. Well, you should see Like, they'd be looking for Bigfoot and the Loch Ness Monster. We do a Loch Ness Monster episode this did, Have season. you found him yet? Uh, we did, yeah. You we, did find uh, him. Okay, the, good. He's in the parking lot. <laughs> um, no, we, uh, we did the first season of the show, which aired last year. Uh, I traveled all over the world. It was actually really uh, quite exciting. We got to go to Australia and the UK and Italy and Greece and Morocco. And I mean, I was everywhere uh -huh. uh, looking for all kinds of different things, <laughs> aliens and the lost city of Atlantis. And, uh, and this year we're doing a second season now, uh, a little more pared down. And, uh, and I'm sort of more in the, in the tradition of the original where I'm in the studio sort of introducing pre-produced packages. And, I see, uh, exploring right. Exploring things from a little bit more of a domestic perspective. I understand can't quite, completely. Can't quite carve out the time to travel as much as I was able to last year, so... Uh, but yeah. I'm excited. It's really cool. And I'm yeah, like, I'm not sure going to South America to find killer bees. I, no. <laughs> no. Uh, I was just in South America. Oh, you were? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you uh, find the killer bees? I, I did. They're also in the parking lot with the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> you were in South America promoting this yeah, show, right? Yeah, promoting Nosferatu, yeah. You have, like, a special following in South America. I do, too, actually. Brazil? No, you do. I oh, have I no do. following in South America. <laughs> I got honest Honestly, I got I two like, Canadians and one girl from Uganda, and yes, that's it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had never been to Brazil or uh, Argentina, and I got to go for the first time. But the people there are incredible. They have been supportive of me and my work over the years. But How do you think that there, happens? That they do you speak Spanish? I, no. You do not speak Spanish. Not. You don't have do any you? history there. No. 
But why do you think they suddenly decided that, I hey, think, you're their guy? I, honestly, I think here, I mean, you know, they, they are really savvy when it comes to television and pop culture. I mm -hmm. think they really love... Um, American you know, stuff. ...stories that we're telling. And uh, Heroes was, you know... Oh, from really, Heroes? Yeah, really. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. An oldie but a goodie. Yeah, and it's weird that it's an oldie now, yeah, but... Yeah, uh, no. Yeah. Yeah, I remember seeing you for the first time on Heroes. That's I was right. like, oh, that yeah, guy yeah. is really good. And now in this new show, you're playing another... a similar character bringing in it, a way. Bringing it back around. Because this character that you play is also feasting on souls. Yeah, yeah. Siler on Heroes uh, stole people's powers by cutting into their brains. Uh, Charlie Manx steals the life force, the vitality, uh, and the youth of kids that he kidnaps uh, by putting them in the backseat of his car. Uh-huh. Uh, and, and, and the show is uh, uh, an adaptation of a novel by Joe Hill, who is Stephen King's son. Uh, so it's got this kind of Stephen King-esque quality, but Joe is such a great author in his own right. Uh, one of the things I love about him is the lineage of his father, right? You can tell um, what he was exposed to as a kid and how his imagination developed, but then he is so intelligent and takes things in his own direction. So yeah, people love his books, yeah, right? So good. I had never read him before, uh, before this. So you know, this car is such a huge part of the show, and uh, in, in in the way that sort of Christine. It's a Rolls Royce, right? Yeah, 1938 Rolls Royce Wraith, which I drive. You do. You get to drive um, it. It's so. Do cool. you like to drive it? I would be nervous to drive I it. I was nervous at first, and then I fell in love with it. It's very temperamental. You know, the steering wheel's on the other side, the yep. gear shift is on the other side, and I so have to... you have to shift gears with your left no, hand? No, it's actually oh. between the seat and the door. Okay, It's All weird. Right. Wow. So it's actually, it's still on the side that we expect it to be on as Americans, but the whole steering column and you're sitting on the other so side So you of have the to car. climb over it when you get out? Yes, <laughs> really? you have to climb, it's so weird. We figured a lot of things out. Yeah, we out really did. Then. We yeah. came a long way in automotive uh, engineering. But, but I, I was never a car person, and then doing the show, I actually have such a deep affinity for cars and understand why people love them. Uh, and I had to really cultivate, a, you know, this guy, the character that I play, has had this car for 70 years. Mm -hmm. So it's a part of him. He's an extension of the car, the car's an extension of him. I had to really, you know, foster this relationship that made it look like I knew what the hell I was doing. And you're really uh, driving, and it's not I, like yeah, you're no, up on a truck We're or on something. the road. I mean, sometimes yeah. we're up on process trailers for different shots, but there, were, there was plenty of... Uh, of, of days when I was out on the road with it and, uh, and, you know, and wearing layers of prosthetics and creepy fingernails. We and, have some of that, know. a photograph of, you, yeah. because you play multiple Say, uh, ages and yeah. that's you as, as an old Nosferatu. I really started moisturizing after I saw yeah. that. Uh, Do you look at this and worry that this is what might happen to you? I kind of think I take better care of myself than Charlie Manx, I hope yeah. anyway. Yeah, um, at least but, the haircut. You can at least yeah. stop by a supercut or something <laughs> like that, you know? <laughs> That's what it, it looks could. pretty great, though. Yeah, I mean, that is yeah. scary. Joel Harlow, the incredible special effects makeup artist, designed the looks. Uh, so Manx ages. He, he ranges in age from sort of where I am in real life up to 135 years old. That's about uh, 85 or 100. So it gets even older than that. And he's uh, still driving. And he's still driving. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that's the real, that's what's most dangerous. Yeah, you don't want him to steal your soul, but also <laughs> getting on the 405 could be deadly. No. <laughs> he and Prince Philip uh, <laughs> take... Uh... Well, it's very good to see you. you that's too, right, Prince Philip. <laughs> very good. Please don't make it another 10 I years. I know, come on. We'll, we'll, it's, I'll it's, be back It's spelled N-O-S number 4-A-2. That's right. It airs Sundays at 10 on AMC. Zachary Quinto, everybody. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. An evil wizard has trapped me inside this YouTube video. Click subscribe to help me escape.